Hello guys, welcome and welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about how we can install custom libraries or custom providers in Apache Airflow. So in earlier video, we saw how we can install Apache Airflow using the Docker and it was plain install whatever they have built. But now in order to install something like a custom package that we want or an operator, how we will do that. So for that, I have referred this documentation, which is Apache Airflow's documentation. Here they are showing an example how to install Vim, but I'll I'll use this same example to install to show how we can install Vim as well as how we can install custom provider. So for that, uh, I have created a DAG that uses Apache Spark. So I have created this. Let me open that. So here you can see we have this Spark provider and it is just saying that we are not able to import this package because this provider does not exist how we will install it let's see step by step so in earlier steps we did not create a docker file basically what we did we just clone this docker compose and whatever the image they used in that docker uh, compose we used it as it is so let me quickly open it you can see this is the one that we cloned earlier and here they are using this image now you can use this variable environment variable to change the name uh, to change the docker image but we will see that okay we will see that shortly so before that we need to build the image so in order to build image let's create a docker file first so i'll just open the docker file and i have pasted all the things inside this in here so what this is doing let's see one by one so we are going to select this as a base image that is Apache Airflow with this version. You can change the version if you want. Then we are using the root user and going to perform these steps. So let me quickly tell you what these steps are. So first thing is we are going to do like apt get update just to install updates. Then we are going to install Vim. So why we are installing Vim? Because this is an example where it is showing how you can install Vim. So it's completely optional you can remove it but i'll keep it just to show like if you want something else you can install it then these are the cleanup steps like it is going to remove unnecessary packages it is going to clean everything and it is going to uh, remove all the cache and everything to make this image very small and then again we are switching back to airflow user so these are the steps that we're going to uh, perform in this image so so after this installation what i will do i will do copy So we are going to copy this requirement.txt file that we will create shortly into this this path and then we are going to run pip install minus r and this requirement.txt let me close it now you can see there is a requirement.txt which is going to be empty because i don't have anything as of now here what i'm going to do i'm going to go here you can see here we have this apache airflows provider spark so what i will do i'll go here and just copy this you can copy it from there but here i'm going to select because we get version also so i prefer it version 5.0.0 why it's not allowing me to type okay so let me again go back here and copy nano requirements.txt this equal equal to 5.0.0 which is the version that i am seeing here so that's all then we have this docker file already created where we are going to copy this requirement file and install it so now let's let's build the image so how we are going to build this so we are going to use docker build this f now i don't need this but basically this is required when you like keep different file name than this then this is going to the tag basically name of your image and this is like this docker file is available in this root directory everything will be available in this directory itself that's what we are telling this docker build command so let me to create and we got some error please use airflow to run pip okay 
So let me change the Docker file and in this place, let me put user airflow and then this is not required. So let's try that again. Okay, so this is installed. Now you can just see everything is fine. Now let's go to the Docker file. Sorry, Docker come. Let's go to Okay, now everything is installed. Let's open the Docker Compose file. So basically what I'm going to do here is simply replace this thing with the tag that we use. You can use this uh, environment variable, but let's not do that for now. And let me copy the name. This is the tag. So basically we're going to tell Airflow that use this image instead of using the patches in image. Basically this is where we built it from, but we added something. That's why we're going to tell it that use this image. Let me close it. And finally we're going to use Docker Compose up and minus stage for detach. Now our Airflow is up and running. Let me log in and now you can see this is now automatically imported without any issue so this is how we can install custom providers and even if you want some packages to be installed so why we need is them so we will not need them but uh, in case if you want to use something that is using the python script in that scenario you will definitely need this so that's why we will install it so for example if you want to use uh, uh, for one of the client, what I did, we use PG dump. So in that kind of scenarios, when you want to run the PG dumps, you need that. That's why you will probably install it. So something like that, not exactly the same scenario, but that kind of thing, if you need, you can install this way. So if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.